Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Please, is there anything I can do, sir? Please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging you. I'm literally begging Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you. Please. 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 Some time has come. Something happened that I never thought would happen, to be quite honest. Farther troll. Meow. 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 Then it's going to be one in the wind column. One for the highlight reel, and one for the bad guy. There you go. You're going to have to say you're sorry or you're going to jail. I promise. <laughs> they refused to help me while I was in Logan County Jail and paid my bond. I think you need help in this way. You need to be what kind of help? Put in a straight jacket and take it to a loony bin. I retire as an auditor, so I'm officially done. But I'm the new honey boo boo of auditing. <laughs> and I told my fiance, and he just started busting out laughing. And I'm like, dude, that's not funny. That's not cool. I'm not the honey boo boo of auditing, dude. I'm not trailer trash. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Delete Law's final thoughts on the trial and uh, the appeal. Let's hear what he has to say. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I went in front of Judge Zimmerman again, and she she had already decided that I wasn't going to give my appeal on. And, you know, for Ms. Zimmerman, we, what she doesn't understand is that I really have fundamentally changed my perspective. I think you're full of a chili. You don't mean any of that. You did not change. You're only saying that because they're listening to your phone calls. And you know that now because the judge even said that she heard the phone calls that you streamed on YouTube. She may not know that because she only sees what she sees on video, you know, how I, the way I am with my bravado. I heard Chili's trying to sell his trifles in prison. Let's take a look at a dramatized uh, video. Hey, psst. Hey, man. Come over here, man. What you got? Okay, right off the bat, no big deal, playing cards. Boom. Okay, made in Germany. You know how Germans always make good stuff, right? Hey, hold on a minute. Wait, let's talk cigarettes, okay? Other things, you try and light them on fire, nothing's gonna happen. Boom, you can't light that on fire. This, it's a cell phone. It's not gonna light. You take a cigarette, you put it in your mouth, here you go, you light it on fire, you get a buzz. Okay, a cake with a saw inside of it, all right? Here you go, boom. Bim, bam, bam, ribby, damn, damn. But obviously, after losing in Arizona, losing in Massachusetts, losing in Ohio, and now losing in Nevada, the common denominator there is me. And so when I go to court, I have to change the way I have been. Or how about this? This actually makes a lot more sense. You don't do anything illegal. You do the right thing that you're supposed to do as a decent human being. And you stay out of the court. You stay out of jail. Look at Chrissy Boy, Boogers McGee. He claimed he spent almost $17,000 in one year in court fees and legal fees. Now, come on. Who in their right mind spends that in one year on legal fees? Or I'm just going to continue to lose. I'll just continue to lose over and over and over again. So You know who's not going to lose when you're in prison? The cafeteria worker. Let's take a look. Know what I mean? Where Ms. Zimmerman was incorrect was that I, I unfortunately I've had two weeks of just completely being, you know, in a position like this where I have time to think, and so I have changed. Uh, everything that guy just says is bullshit. Thank you. And I want to advise anybody else who ever hears me that you should not behave the way that I have done in court in four different states, and I've lost in four states. So obviously. The problem is me, and so I have to change the way I am. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. Now, is anybody buying his nonsense? Because I really, really think that as soon as he gets released from jail, he's going back out on the streets and doing the same nonsense. And he's got a second case for the same exact thing. He's crying about how tough it is right now. Wait till he gets tried and convicted on the second case for the same exact stuff. He's going to be in prison for a year or two more. Continuing on that idea, as I move into public life, I have to change the rhetoric that I use because there's a half the people 
support cops and the other half the people don't trust cops at the least. So regardless, though, if I'm going to run for any kind of public office, I have to change my rhetoric. Now, it may vary from state to state, but from what I could find online, unless there's a certain state or federal law that he broke, he could run for office. But the thing is, he's going to have a hard time trying to convince the public to vote for him. And who really wants somebody with a criminal conviction in office? We have enough problems that it is now with the people that we have in there. And this is where Ms. Zimmerman was completely wrong. I, I realize now that I have to change. After losing in four states and four different courts, it's not, it was the common denominator. It's me. And so that means that I'm doing it wrong. And so that's what I want to teach other people. Don't do it like I did. Do it right. Do it. Show the deference and the reverence that you have to show to the court. Even if we don't agree with the system as it is, we still have to live within it. Or, as you saw... Doesn't it sound like he's trying to say you have to toe the line or go to jail or face repercussions for not towing the line? Isn't that what it sounds like? So did you actually reform? I don't think you did. I got in front of Ms. Zimmerman, and Ms. Zimmerman formally married a police officer. So, obviously, from her wedding, she's going to have police friends that she's had for the last 20 or 30 years. I have been openly disrespectful to the police. So, obviously, if I go in front of her court and I show her horse's ass like I did, and she has the power to put me in jail, she's going to. This makes perfect sense to me. It's not personal. I put myself in a bad position. She has all the power, and I have none. And she exercised her power. So I made the mistake. It's my mistake. Now, do I feel like it's fair? Everybody in jail and prison thinks it's unfair and they got a, a raw deal and they're innocent. Let's take a look. What are you in for? Me? Lawyer, fuck me. Everybody's innocent in here. Don't you know that? <laughs> <laughs> file a petition for a writ of habeas corpus to be released from jail for ineffective counsel because Michael Mead did not submit a First Amendment brief, did not submit any motions to dismiss the case, then he didn't do any video analysis of the police video, and then he didn't submit my only evidence, my video, into evidence. He didn't submit the only evidence I had into, into evidence. And so uh, then he called me to the stand, and we did no witness preparation. And so... That would, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it was ineffective counsel. Hold on a second. I thought there was something said on your channel or another channel that you went to uh, the courtroom an hour or so before the hearing and antagonized the court marshals instead of going with your lawyer to prep for the trial. Is that true? I mean, I'm kind of wondering, did you actually do that or is that just rumor that's being spread? But anyways... I hope you enjoy the show. Remember to like, share, and most importantly, it helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Obviously, Captain Happy got a ranch who's a troll. It doesn't only apply for the Second Amendment. It also applies for the First Amendment. I have constitutional carry for this camera. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. If you want to know what I'm doing here, I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Oh, man. <laughs> yep. I cannot handle this no more. <laughs> this is bull, yo. I can't even take it. Oh, <laughs> man, this is. I can't even handle it no more. Some time has come. Something happened that I never thought would happen, to be quite honest. Could you briefly tell us what the Third Amendment is? That's the walk of shame. You need to remember what you swore to protect. And my voice is terrible today. Please, please don't make me sleep. I'll take it. They're not criminals. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please. Dude, please. Oh, my God. Don't do that to him. You guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Who has a YouTube channel? It's not me, by the way. So, Fine. this other gentleman, he's been getting in fights and altercations. He's been arrested. Other people have been arrested. And what's going on is this guy who lives in Evansville mm -hmm. keeps going to down to this bar, 
egging on the people down there, recording them, going live. Hmm. And it continues every single day. Hand to hand combat. Come on, let's go. You sure? Yeah, sure. You ain't gonna do it. No, You're all talk. Come on. You're all talk, buddy. Come on. They are suing me for five million dollars. Caught crabs once. I've had crabs a few times. That I'm the new honey boo boo of auditing. And I told my fiance, and he just started busting out laughing. And I'm like, dude, that's not funny. That's not cool. I'm not the honey boo boo of auditing, dude. I'm not trailer trash. Come on. You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You're going to come to find out that it's going to be one in the ring call, one for the highlight reel, and one for the bad guy to play by you. Grandma got a mouth. Wow. A little too much accelerant. <laughs> it's Captain Happy. God damn it. I like the Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Why? Why? Why are you recording? Because <laughs> you look weird. I look weird? Do I look weird? You look creepy. I look creepy. Yeah, so don't worry, don't worry. It's don't hard worry. to get good. on YouTube and, and to get subs. Trust me, I, I know it's hard. But 17K, like even though, yeah, it's fantastic, it's great. If you have four arrests for 17K, not worth it, not that great of an accomplishment. I'm letting everybody know because of all the backstabbers like Delete Law, James Freeman, Lackluster, and all the people that made tons of money off of my videos. When did you see Superman say, for Superman safety? When did you see Superman say that? I retire as an auditor, so I'm officially done. I used to say that like, I owned a franchise, I owned a Papa John's franchise.